be Matulia to New Horizon Public School and you participated in the Technovation Challenge for the year 2016-2017. This video is about how we handle data management for our app Greens to Browns. Greens to Browns is a solution that provides a common platform for the producers and consumers of compost. We implemented Google Fusion Table, which is an online service provided by Google for comprehensive data management. We would like to share our knowledge about this utility. That's excellent. Our app Greens to Browns connects potential buyers of compost to compost generators and also provides a convenient delivery system. We also manage the data of sellers, buyers, inventory, order management and order fulfillment in our app. We also decided that we would provide the data of the history of the orders for which we needed to query large amounts of data from multiple entities. For this, we needed a robust data management system. We did evaluate the TinyDB for our needs, but it wasn't feasible due to its shortcomings. Hence, we decided to go with the Google Fusion Tables for our app's data needs. Despite the initial issues that we had with this utility, we overcame them with the help of our mentors. Google Fusion Tables provides a secure and systematic tabular storage of data as compared to TinyDB, which is the inbuilt data storage tool of MIT App Inventor 2. We can store large amounts of data using Google Fusion Tables and it allows us to access data over different screens and users, unlike TinyDB. The first thing that you require is to create a Google Developers account. We recommend that you create a separate account to use the Fusion Tables to prevent any accidental loss of data. When you create this account, you will receive an API key which is used to manage data in all the tables. Each table has a unique table ID and key file which will help you to map the tables in MIT App Inventor. Let's look at operations like adding and retrieving data from Fusion Tables using MIT App Inventor. In the designer screen, an instance of the Fusion Table Control is created, which is a non-visible component. Global variables should be declared for Google Developer Account, Key File, and Table ID for each table. The first thing we have to do is go to the block section and use the call procedure to insert rows. And then we have to specify the table ID and also the columns in which the data should be inserted in. And then we specify the values, which is basically the input from the users. Also note that the input from the users should be separated by commas and closed in single quotes. Now we are going to learn how to retrieve data from the Fusion Tables. The first thing we have to do is query the table. Under the Fusion Table control, there is a block called set Fusion Table controls dot query. Using this block and using the join statement, we can specify the columns from which the data can be retrieved and the specific order in which the data should be retrieved. The query is then sent to the Fusion Tables. The retrieved data can then be used by the user to carry out his purposes.